Bright learners, hello. I am Mrs. Oluye Misi Wale Shuge, and I shall be your teacher on the topic if clauses or conditional clauses derived from grammar, an aspect of English language as a subject. Conditional clauses are known to indicate possible conditions and probable results. They mean that the expected action depends on a condition. Conditional sentences consist of two clauses. One is a clause that starts with if, which is called the if clause, while the other is called the main clause. It is very important to know which tenses are to be used in these clauses because they play a big role in determining the meanings of the sentences. Before we proceed or go further, we shall have to take the lesson objectives. At the end of this lesson, learners will be able to do um, these following activities. First is to identify and explain the if clauses. Second, use them correctly in sentence formulations. And third, derive appropriate meanings from them in sentences. The if clauses are so unique that they express the condition in which actions may occur. They begin with either if or unless. Examples. One, we'll be late if we don't leave now. Two, we'll be late unless we leave now. They are, however, classified into three types, determined by tenses, uh, consequent upon the time of the verbs. We have type one, type two, and type three. Our lesson today will basically dwell on if clause type one. If clause type one is used to express a possibility in the future, it is most likely that it will happen. We use this type when talking about real and possible situation in the future. And now we'll go for a break. Welcome back, learners. Our topic is still um, if clauses or conditional clauses. Now, let's treat the points to note about the usage of the if clause type 1, which is also known as the likely condition. The first point is that the if clause can either take the initial or the final position in a sentence. 
If it ends a sentence, you do not use a comma before the if. Examples. One. We'll be late if we don't leave now. In the above, the main clause starts the sentence while the if clause ends the sentence. Hence, no use of comma after the main clause and before the if clause. Two, if we don't leave now, will be late. Here, the if clause begins the sentence, so use a comma after it. The second uh, point to note is that the if clause is used to express a possibility in the future not certain that it will happen, but it is possible. By this, we mean talking about a real and possible situation in the future. Examples. If I have enough money, I will buy a car. Two. You will win the prize if you work hard. The third point is that the if clause can be used in questions. Examples. One. Will you leave school if you don't have enough money? Two, can you call me if you see Tunde? The fourth point to note is that the if clause can be used as imperatives. By this, we mean statements that issue commands or give orders. Examples. If you go to the market, buy me a roll of twine. Two. Give Toby Lover my regards if you see him. The fifth point is that models can be used in the if clause and in the main clause. Examples. One, if you speak English, you will find jobs easily. Two, I will do if I must do that. Seeing you after this break. Welcome back to the final segment of this lesson. We shall take uh, two more points on the if clause type one usage. So the sixth of the points is that various tenses such as present continuous, present perfect, and present perfect continuous can be used in the if clause. The three of them are found in the following sentences. Examples. One, if Tade is still bearing grudges against Biodun, remind her of the promise. Two, if my mother has cooked the meal, I'll eat my portion 
immediately. Three, she will need to take a break if she has been working all day. Now, we come to the last of the seven points. And here, it is that one or two of the clauses may come as negatives. Examples. One, if he does not sow good seed, he will not get a great harvest. Two, if you care so much about your studies, you will not play truancy at school. Three, the roads will be opened if it does not rain. I want to draw your attention to the fact that questions on if clause types are always found in section 5 of the objective uh, test questions in your SSCE examinations. Consider the following examples of the if clause type 1 questions extracted from uh, the SSCE past questions and answers booklet on English language. We have four here and they were drawn from our various years. Question number uh, 38 of uh, section 5 of 1990, that's under the objective test, has this. I'll call at your house this evening if it doesn't rain. Then question number 44 from 1992 says, if you want to succeed in life, you will have to shake off your lazy habits. Question number 48, drawn from 2011, it says, if it rains, the exhibition will be cancelled. And question number 46, drawn from 2017, says, if you don't get off my property, I'll set the dog on you. We shall continue in the study of if clause types 2 and 3 in our next lesson. Until then, keep working, studying, and learning. You may visit the underlisted sites for more insights on the topic. Bye.